Welcome everyone to another episode of Argentina or Le Plata in the popular demand. Ma. The popular demand. The popular. The popular demand. Ma. Yeah. So this episode, guys, we will be basically just trying to curve stomp all these stupid rebels because apparently all my troops are not doing it, which is annoying me. And maybe going up to minimum wage I'm still trying to decide on it but I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards that area it's it's it seems very appealing by the way full we need full okay I'm not gonna start lowering the tax holy shoot who the heck oh artisans <laughs> I was about to say who the heck is bringing my tax evasion down oh it's artisans never mind I don't care about them <laughs> like seriously artisans are like the most useless class in this game like, it, a lot of people think, in terms, if you look at the classes, um, a lot of people think that the most useless are the aristocrats. No, the aristocrats can actually pay for themselves. It's usually the artisans. The artisans, where are they? Where are they? Right here? The artisans? The artisans are usually the most useless class because they absolutely do jack nothing. Seriously. You could play the entire game and they do absolutely nothing. They don't produce anything for you. They don't like having an event where it's like... These people produce a massive piece of art. No, they don't have anything like that. They just waste around and make you go crazy because they always complain about, we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't, uh, why aren't you providing for us? Because you guys don't give me anything. If you, if you support your society, maybe I'd actually care about you. Okay, but you don't, so I don't care about you. Keep holding elections until these guys are out of power. Oh wait, but I have to also be careful because I also have Brazilian people. I also, have, I also have people trying to take me out right now, which is not exactly good things, but the surge of socialism, yay! No, I'm completely happy with that. If they want to be socialists, be my guest. I am happy with people wanting to be socialists. I am totally encouraging it in my people, and I am totally not against it. Dig deep and greedy! Everyone, that's the lessons you always have to learn from this game, is whenever you are a massive ruler of a world, dig deep and greedy. Not gritty, greedy. <laughs> okay, so Burl Rios has now become the capital again of like the world's economy. Oh wait, wait, whoops! I didn't mean support everything. I meant don't support anything. So I'm trying to see. Well, I support ammunition factories because I love ammunition factories. Everything else, so hmm, almost feel like I need to build that one up. But a luxurious furniture factory. Hmm, that almost sounds like a good idea right there. Let's see. Protectionism? No, we want free trade. The Russian crisis in Uzbek. Do we want to join in? Let's see. What's going to happen? A little country is going to be freed. Well, I absolutely don't care. It's not a part of my country. I'm never going to really be in Europe. I might be in Africa. And I might be in a little bit in Asia. But dealing with the Russians, eh. They can do what they want. And apparently there's a war going on between Italy and Austria. Oh, wow. So it's Italy versus Austria and the Ottomans. And the, uh, Italy is just kicking the crap out of them. Wow. Hmm. That's nice to know. And education efficiency. You guys want me to support you. Uh, do I want to get involved in this? No. Do I feel like I want to get involved? No. Let's get bolt. Okay, let me make sure. Before I forget anything, let's make sure I'm actually good with colonization. Yes, I have everything I need for, coloniz for colonization when I need to get it. So... Let's actually upgrade our army just a little bit. Wait, let me make sure I have nothing else. Uh, we can actually get this just a little bit. That way you get a little bit boost to our research. You have still our clergy clergy, and our bureaucrat bonus is still going strong. Atheism. God is dead. <laughs> I think it sounds so terrible, game. Like, seriously. Uh, although I do wish the... I do wish you could kind of skip the elections and be like, Okay, everyone, I already know what I want to turn out this election. We don't need to go through it. Let's go down to 70 for everyone, because I want to start building a stronger... Oh, you guys are already at 70? Okay, let's do Let's go to 65. <laughs> I'm encouraging making people poor. Uh, 65... Can we support it? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay, there's also some factories that collapsed, probably in the, probably in the one regions. Yep. I'm just going to support these one regions, because, like I said, I need to make sure they start producing more factories. Holy shoot, this entire economy collapsed. Uh, we, Rio, I hate that region so much because it's just, I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, I do know how to pronounce it, but it's like, Rio. I'm just going to call it Rio. 
Rio, what do you guys produce? Oh, you guys would be perfect for a can factory. Yeah. As much as I would love to keep you guys, you guys seriously should produce a can factory. Um, I'll keep the uh, ammunition factory in your provinces, but yeah, seriously, you guys should be producing like a can. You guys should be producing can factory. Choco, Choco, somewhere over here. Oh man, I'm trying to know my regions here. All right, Choco, Choco's right there. So let's see, Choco's not that big. It produces mainly timber. Gosh, you know, I swear my capitalists don't even look at the regions. Okay, yeah, you guys should not be producing a sulfide deposit. Okay, yeah. Trying to build your economy when you're just trying to make sure that you curve what you want. Atheism. Yeah, go atheism. Yeah, go atheism. <laughs> Alright, trying to curve what you want though is kind of really annoying. And let's see. How much, let's see, residency, reactionaries, secularized. Nah, I don't really want any of that. Let's see. So Kanto, let's see, how much am I gaining? When am I going to be able to, wait, let me turn off some of these views. Factory construction, I I wish this would always do it every time. Building, building construction, uh, navy construction. I should keep navy construction. No, navy construction. Toggle hostile combat, naval combat, toggle army, toggle. This is all good. National foci. Yeah, this is all good. Okay, the rest of this is all good. Let's see. We're gonna get Sakanto as our good friend here very, very soon. It's gonna take a little bit, but we should be able to get him. And once we do get him, it's gonna be nice. We're gonna have a good friend down there. In the southern, in the southern, in the eastern African uh, region. Okay, now we're just gonna. I think for the rest, I think for like a little bit, we're just gonna chill out, not really try to attack anyone. Just kind of let the, just kind of let the game flow, if you know what I mean. Just soul brother and all that. Uh, let's see. We got more factories keep collapsing. That's only because, okay, that's only because like we literally built terrible factories in the beginning. Okay, yeah, explosive factories. I just don't care. Uh, we built terrible factories in the beginning, and now we're trying to rectify that with all these, uh, really, really, like, pluralism. No, we're supposed to go atheism, aren't we? Yeah, we're supposed to go atheist. Wait, what are we? Yeah, atheism. Curve stomp atheism. So, yeah, just get that right there. I don't really care who gets it, just somebody that we don't know. Alright, cigar factory, tobacco, we support. Not paying too much for, for subsidies right now, which is good. And let's see... I think, let's see, limited citizenship, we want to start curbing people towards that, towards that area. And let's see, we have three, a 3,000 Huskier. Oh yeah, there was that army that I was building that originally, oh yeah, where is it? Where's that army that doesn't have any kind of Huskiers? Oh, it must be this one right here, the one that just destroyed them. Okay, well that's really convenient. Okay, you guys go right here, go combine with those guys, and let's see, you guys building the other unit? No, why don't you guys building the other unit? Build the other unit. Okay. And let's see. Combine all you guys and make a really cool unit. And let's see. Let's also increase our relationships with Chile. That way we get a little bit more influence. And yeah. I think I'm still going to beat up on Brazil. Because I still... Because since Brazil is an accepted culture, we basically could get an entire 1.64 million population if we just keep conquering Brazil. But Chile, I think we could leave Chile alone. Chile could just be a part of my sphere. And Sokanto. Because they're just an awesome region to have all around. Conservatives claim victory! Yay! Okay. Alright. And you guys. You guys are going to combine with that unit. Let's see. Liberals! Sure, why not? Let's, let's pack some liberals up in the house. Okay. And cannons. Like I said, just keep the region open. Okay. And let's see. You guys. Nepaz. Since you guys have no one else. Yeah, destroy that factory. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. How much am I paying right now in subsidies? Ammunition factory is the only thing that's really costing me a lot. Wait, wait, it just jumped. What just happened? Uh, the ammunition fact. Oh, okay, ammunition factories. Like I said, I can pay. I can actually subsidize my uh, wartime machine because you really do need a wartime machine because honestly, those kind of factories don't actually make anything. But everything else, eh, I could see. All right, and there we go. Our country's back under the control. Le Plata looks as healthy as ever. It's almost like it's being dished out on a silver plate. And the world is so great right now. Okay, let's see. Uh, the artisans, though, I really wish would be... I wish there was a button right now that says... Just like in CK2, where it's like, expel the Jews. I wish there was a button that I could, I could do to, like, say, expel all artisans in my land. 
Because I don't want these people in my land. If they're not going to do anything, don't come to my land. Ooh. Let's just make the poor angry right now. I don't really want to make the life needs the poor any more high. Because the already... Most of them aren't getting the life needs met. Most of them aren't getting, like... Yeah, most of them aren't getting the life needs or the everyday needs met. So, for us to increase that would probably make us a lot of poor people. I don't need a lot of poor people right now. But we could get trickled minimum wage just because I finally... I think I finally have the economy enough for it. Yes, I do. Yes. Alright, and Providence brought under control. Yay, that's good. I'm glad people realize it. And let's see, there's our other huskier. So everyone go back there. And Zagato now can become our region. Huzzah. Okay. Add the sphere. Yes. And if you guys haven't realized that the reason why you add the sphere of big nations like that is because once they um once colonization happens, there's actually a button where you can actually annex all the nations you speared. So it's a good idea to do that. Okay, now we're gonna start focusing in on our good friends at Chile. Because I do want Chile a little bit more to us. And let's see, how far are we in? Wow, we have a long ways to go. Well, long ways to go, but we're still going to get there eventually. Eventually. And let's see, we have a strong economy going. Let's see. Let's support our military fully. There we go. And now that we're supporting everything fully, I can officially start going back on everything. And start doing well. Now that we're supporting everything fully, that just means I can actually start decreasing taxes slowly but surely. Santa Fe has... Okay, just keep these supported. Santa Fe has a... Yep, I knew it. Alright, and let's... I knew it was collapsed. Let's see, Chile, what do you guys want to do? We're just going to increase the relationship with you guys. And let's see, what's the rest of the world looking like right now? As we continue our speed. China looks not too divvied up. You know? Hmm. You know, we might want to go do an, you know, an, extra, an extra territorial torality event in China at some point. I would definitely want to get this region right here because it's really, really awesome to have. Exhausted farmland. That is not good. Explosive factory just collapsed in one of the regions. Oh my goodness. If you, if you were not the only factory here, I would so destroy you, Explosive Factory. Like with a big kaboom! But sadly, you guys are, so I kind of have to take it with a grain of salt. Okay. So, let's see. I'm just... Yeah, we're just trying to kind of trying to chill right now because we have so much. All right, our money situation is definitely going up. So I'm going to see if I can get to 60% taxes everywhere. Let's see if the poor will let me. Yes, the poor will let me. Yes. Okay. 60% taxes. Our economy is doing really well. We're about to get research theory. That means we're about to get even more research. Let's see. We're still getting our bonuses with clergymen and bureaucrats. Let's see, and we could get that, but I don't want to yet because it's not time. We do need to get this, though, so we could start getting our algae outputs. Do we need this? We, we don't really fight Europeans, though. I mean, if we were constantly fighting against Europe, I would say we needed the other things. But we aren't fighting against Europe that often, so... Eh, we'll just get this and see what happens. Let's see, education efficiency going up. Hmm, you know what I could do? I could start a massive drive to just put like 2% population of clergymen in every single one of my country. You know what, let's... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, people. Apparently, I'm losing my voice. Let's do that. I want to get clergymen in every single part of my country. That way, we can start like, you know, having a great country. So, 2% in all my countries. Let's see. Some of these already have it. Like, uh, Elo Rios has it. So, Elo Rios, we're going to remove focus. Move to La Paz. Okay, and let's see, where else has it, uh, right here in Paraguay, uh, let's remove that, remove the focus, move down to Rio de Sol, because I want to make sure that when we actually get that, I can, when we get this literacy boost, we actually get a literacy boost, and let's see, right here is our main capital, Bill Aries, who has the most, like, amount of people ever, and let's put it right there, no, not bureaucrats, clergymen, okay. And let's see, does any of these people have 2% of clergymen? No, they do not. Okay, continue. Yeah, we definitely want to encourage all of this so that we can get that education bonus. Seriously, we seriously need that education bonus. And Gond Fenton and permanent prestige. More permanent prestige. Man seen voting. As John Q. Public walks up to the ballot box, he knows intensely that he is being watched by the local officials presiding over the vote, by the man watching him during the ballot, by the box. 
but a government agent in a bar behind a curb poll newspaper. Somehow, somewhere, someone is watching him and feeding the government information about his political opinions and voting preferences. John's secret fear is that someone on some dark night will come on to his knocking on his door to have a little chat about loyalties and disloyalties. John Quebec would very much prefer if he could be given his vote in secret. Uh, you're just being paranoid. There's no such thing as that. Or, they're after me. Hmm. Do I want to curve? Do I want to curve to being secret ballots? Let's see. Uh, twenty percent more immigration. Yeah, let's. You know, if if we can curve to get that, let's do it. Twenty percent more immigration to my country, which makes me still one of the best immigrant-friendly countries ever. But since I'm not constantly encouraging it, I go down a little bit for America. Man, if only I had been able to help the CSA when they were having the difficulties. Man, that would have helped us out a lot to keep America back a little bit. But, oh wow, that is a really weird looking railroad. It's like, nope. <laughs> oh my goodness. The fun things you can find in Victoria too when you're just looking around the map. Okay, and let's see. Let's see, when I go right here, I'm going to instantly, yeah, okay. I'm setting it all up, people. I'm setting it all up in my mind what I'm going to do. Let's see, more factories have just recently collapsed. There's a boot factory that collapsed in Jolay. I think I know where Jolay is. Jolay is like somewhere... Campa, Bolos, Rio, Rio, Burgway. Jolay? Where's Jolay? Okay, it's not that low. Pampa, it's somewhere over here, I know that, because it's one of my original regions. For Rio, Santa Fe, Chaco, Burgway. Jolay, there it is. Okay. So you guys mainly produce sheep, uh, lumber, some tropical wood, and some sheep. Okay, so yeah, this does not make much sense. Why do we have a boot factory here? Okay, let's collapse that right now because a boot factory doesn't make any sense. It don't make no sense down there to make a boot factory. Alright, and now we think we just got Chile into our national liking. Yes, yay, we're now friends with Chile. Chile is also socialist. Did you guys see that? Chile is also socialist. By the way, next election, so we can keep curving our people to be more like us. Whoa, uh, uh. And let's see, we're about to finish up with one of our clergymen. Oh, and cultural enrichment. Newly arrived immigrants have brought with them the collective experiences of their home country, and their songs now blend with ours in the ever-changing symphony that is La Plata. The customs have enriched our own, creating interesting new blends of cultural expressions in the field of art, science, and agriculture. Glorious La Plata. Why do people tell me these things? <laughs> you know, if that wasn't such a bad event for the consciousness, I would totally say that. But, glorious to Le Plata. That's obviously the correct decision in that. But, man, would you not just be like, if you're just like the leader of the world, and, it, and the person's like, your secretary's like, Sir, there's immigrants coming in, and they're bringing different cultures. And you're just like, Okay? Good for them. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I would not be. Let's see. Jule, Jule just finished up with there. So we move focus. Move down to Camerania. Encourage clergyman down there. Let's see. And also right here in the Pampa, we move focus. The Pampa move down to Palina. Let's see. All you guys. Yeah, all you guys are gonna have to get a little bit more educated before you guys do anything. Let's see, moralism, no, we don't need secularized and we don't need moralism. Celebration of our freedom, really? Hmm. I like this just because I don't want to keep curving the liberals in power. But yay, everyone, celebrate La Plata's freedom! Our freedom to control everyone else in, in South America. And a little bit in Africa, too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Go freedom, go freedom, go yeah, go freedom. Alright, planned economy, definitely moving towards more of a planned economy. Okay. By the way, I have a lot of stuff I could- Whoa, shoot, I could build a lot. Um, you know, I'm gonna take a- just a- Oh, you know what? Let's finish out the rest of this episode, but I'm just going to- I was about to say, I'm gonna take like a minute just to check through all those little factories, and I'm gonna see which ones we want and which ones that we don't want, because that's a lot of factories. Gosh dang, am I- Capitalists, we have 3,000 capitalists. You guys should be doing fine. Okay, settling- Settling Targagasia. 
The jungles of Tarigasia lie in the heart of the Amazon and rightfully belong to La Plata. Currently, there are no there are plantain eager the plantain eager to for the opportunity to sell the region and have asked for funds to assist them. Though advisors say that this may cause problems in neighboring states who also claim the territory. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll claim it. <laughs> I I mean, if if they have a problem, come at me, bro. Come at me. If if you guys really think you guys could come and beat me up, come at me. Like, I would love to see this. You guys actually trying to take me on in the world? Cause right now, if I look, if I remember correctly, I think I'm probably the number one power down here. The only other person I kind of have to kind of worry about is the United States, but they're all the way up here in Northern America. We're in Southern America, so we care. And with that, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. And next episode, I'll probably be looking at different factory growth so that we stop having so many collapsed factories. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!